All right, guys, we are live. This is a special edition of the Shillin and Duffy show because it's that time of year, you know, early September. The kids go back to school here in America. You know, the fall, the weather starts changing, the leaves start changing, except for in Texas where Ben lives. It's still 100 degrees today. Yeah. The weather does not change. <laughs> but a big thing that happens is football season starts. People have their fantasy drafts. They get all together. And the other day I said to myself, I was have, I was in the middle of a fantasy football draft, and I was thinking it up, and I said, man, I'd be so much better if you were drafting MMA fighters. So I said, you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to reach out to three of my closest friends, three absolute Gs in the industry, and we're going to draft MMA fighters. This is the Sure Dog 2023-2024 Fantasy MMA Draft. I am your host. My name is Keith Schillen. Joining me, as always, the Duffy to the Shill and Duff Show. He is the senior editor of SureDog.com. He, of course, is Mr. Ben Duffy. Ben, how you doing, my man? I'm doing real well. Uh, leaving the fantasy MMA part aside, I think Penn State should see if Bo Nickel has any football eligibility left. <laughs> We're going to be talking about Mr. Bo Nickel soon. Uh, in the bottom right corner is the newest contributor to SureDog.com. He has... Uh, the hit show called Check the Kick. He, he's he been on the uh, Shill and Duffy show so many times, we probably should call it the Shill and Duffy and Tejado show. Uh, better known as Dev Goes Fishing, Mr. Dev and Tejada. Dev, this is your first time ever doing a fantasy draft. Is that true? It's 100% true. I only follow two sports, and one of them is fishing, and the other one is MMA and really all combat sports. So I'm pretty well suited for this, I think. The, the good news is, worst case scenario, you finish in fourth place. Duffy, you're thinking the same thing I am. <laughs> what is involved in following fishing? <laughs> it would be my question. But that's a, that's a question for another day. Yeah. We'll, you yeah. know, I'll, I'll come on, check the kick sometime and grill you about that. And Sounds in good. the in the bottom left corner, he is the associate editor of SureDog.com. He's got a, a bunch of articles on SureDog, and he's got uh, some – uh, betting advice. He's the man with all the stats. He runs the Fight Finder and a bunch of other things. He, of course, is Jay Petri. Jay, how you doing, my man? You know, it, it's kind of funny. Um, you guys bringing me out of mothballs for this this special occasion. I am I'm privileged and and grateful to be joining you guys to to break down UFC Fight Night two two nine. Bobby Green versus Grant Dawson at the UFC Apex. This is this is a dream come true, and I love you guys for it. <laughs> um, th this this is, we're gonna have a lot of fun here. Um, I, I look forward to to seeing what round a certain aforementioned person uh, is drafted in. And um, my other my other thought to 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 Dev is this is your first draft. I've seen fantasy drafts for sports from from baseball to NASCAR. There has to be a fishing draft as well out there, right? Like there in theory, probably like is. The there probably is for the um, professional fishermen. Probably make more money than professional fighters too, which is pretty <laughs> interesting. Um, and they probably totally have some sort of bracket that you could follow. Um, but MMA is more of my thing, and this is the first for me. Um, so hopefully, you guys can can guide me <laughs> along or steer me in the wrong direction. <laughs> I, to come I think it's first. I think it was the first for everybody that we might be setting the trend. Uh, I probably was better off drafting a Fisher the other day when I drafted Cooper Cup <laughs> in the first round of my fantasy league. Uh, and then when I picked him, all my friends turned to me and go, you know, do you know he's got hurt? I'm like, yeah, he got hurt like a month ago. Like, no, no, he got hurt today in practice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm also a great start in that league. So, all right. So, obviously, uh, with any fantasy league, you got to have rules. Uh, I'll give you a brief uh, rundown of the rules. It's also scrolling on the bottom of the screen. Obviously, uh, all four of us are going to draft. Now, before you get at me, oh, I'm in a 16 – guys, <laughs> we do this at the last minute. Uh, this is more for a show than anything, uh, so 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 bear with me. Uh, so we got to draft only UFC fighters. So there's only uh, UFC fights. Oh, Must draft oh, man, no Kyoji Horiguchi? That's no, the perfect fisherman. No, yeah. <laughs> uh, Must draft one fighter from each oh. of the weight classes, excluding uh, women's featherweight, which we're assuming seems like it's on its way out. You can only draft three current UFC champions. That includes the BMF. So we're going to count that as a, an official belt sure. in 
you must draft two people currently outside the sure dog top 15. No, it doesn't matter if they get in the top 15 later on, but right now, as of today, right now, if they're not currently in the top 15 rankings uh, in their weight class. So that's the other thing in the weight class that we're, you're drafting them in. Uh, here's, here's how the scoring will go. A win, a UFC win will be one point. You will get bonus points. If your fighter gets a first round stoppage, you'll get three points. If they get a second round stoppage, two points, and a stoppage in rounds three through five, you have a one point bonus. If they win a UFC fight night main card, you get another additional bonus point. If they win a UFC fight night co main, it'd be two bonus points. If you get a UFC pay per view main card win, three points. UFC fight night uh, main card win. I'm sorry, uh, main event win, five points. UFC pay-per-view co-main event win will be seven points. UFC pay-per-view main event win will be 10. You'll get an additional five points if you win or defend the title. Well, obviously, when I'm saying you, I'm talking about the fighter. And the biggest one, you'll get 10 points if your fighter defeats somebody else's fighter. So if Ben has a guy and his guy beats Jay, he'll get 10 additional points. Uh, the negatives, if you're – Opponent loses, that'll be negative one. If your opponent loses in the first round, negative three additional. So that's going to be one and three. Uh, second round stoppage, negative two. Third or fifth, third through, through fifth round, one, negative one. If they miss weight, even if they win, they'll automatically minus five points to start. If they get a USADA violation throughout the year, negative 10. And if, this will be the most controversial because. Uh, I am the police officer, so I will decide whether this is good or not. If they get arrested, negative 20. So that's that's the rules. Uh, there'll be no trading. There'll be no substitutes. If your guy gets hurt, it sucks to be you. So this well, I got is one. I got one question. All right. What if you're a fighter, you draft an unranked fighter, and they get cut? Sucks to be you. <laughs> All right. I drafted Cooper Cup, so I have no mercy on anybody. Cooper Cup is a pick six. I, I, I'll sit there at pick six saying, oh, you bunch of idiots, man. This is a great pick. Oh, I mean, w what if two years ago you'd had uh, Francis Ngannou and he yep. left as a champ? Sucks to be Sucks you. Sucks to be you. All right, so this is the draft order. Uh, we'll do it like a, uh, like a snake draft. So what that means, it'll go the first round. It's going to be Dev, then Ben, then Jay, and then me. On the even number rounds, it's going to go back way. It's going to be me, then Jay, then Ben, then Dev. With that said, I think we've covered everything. Any last questions before we start? Don't think so. All right, we are on the first round. Every pick, we have like a 10-second synopsis on, on the pick. Who is the number one pick in the history of Fantasy MMA? Dev, you are on the clock. So this guy is a wrestler. He fights at middleweight. I think everyone here likes him, is pretty high on him. Um, it's not Bo Nickel. Um, he will be ranked, but this is going to also be my unranked middleweight fighter, Hamzat Chemaev. I, I, I knew you were going with that. I, I, out of the box, uh, he goes with Shemaev. Obviously, he's got a big test at middleweight against Paulo Costa. That means, Ben, you are on the clock. All right. Uh, I'm going to start small. I'm taking Alessandro Pantoja. I think he's going to be busy this year. He may defend the title. If not, he's probably going to fight in at least two main events in the next 12 months. Give me Alessandro Pantoja. All right. So Ben goes with his first UFC champion, uh, Alexander Pantoja. But that's risky because he's the champion, but he doesn't headline a lot of pay-per-views. And, 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 and guys, just, just so we're all clear, if a guy wins the title in a UFC pay-per-view, he's going to get a point for the win, five points for the title defense, 10 points for the pay-per-view win, <laughs> plus plus a main card pay-per-view win. And he gets all of them. out Moreno in the first round. Yeah. So um, When right. Hamzat submits Izzy via rear naked choke in the first round, I'm going to get a lot of points. Oh, all right. I should even minus five wins his way. <laughs> the, the, I should pick Paula Costa just to get that extra 10 on you. The, the MMA gods are already not liking Ben and already frozen him because of, based on his terrible pick. So, At least he's smiling. Jay, Jay is up. 
Uh, hopefully Ben's uh, – well, there he is. He's back. Yeah. Uh, Jay, you were up. Your first ever pick is? Oh, I'm going to use one of my early champion picks because I don't have a whole lot of them locked down. I'm going to go in the middleweight division with a guy that happens to be fighting very shortly uh, in Israel Adesanya. So I expect to to get about, let's see, um, five points for the, the, the win of the title fight, 10 points for the pay-per-view main event, um, probably three points for a second round finish, give or take. So give me Izzy to to ha- be an active champion and run the field because middleweight is just so stacked right now. Yeah, I thought Israel Asani was the consensus number first pick, being that uh, one he fights this weekend, so he kind of gets an early head start. Uh, he's a guy who gets a lot of stoppages, and he's and, just so active. And he's active, so uh, I think uh, I think I think you guys are gonna regret that. So I am up. I'm going first round. I'm going unranked. I'm going. You know, everyone knows who I'm going with. I'm going with a guy who gets stoppages. He's always on the main card. He's gonna move up the ranks. Gerald you know, take it. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it, Mr. Bo Nickel. Get it. Let's go, Mr. Bo Nickel. So there you guys have it. Uh, there you guys, we already went off the air. I said I was taking Bo Nickel. So, all the, right. So we're going to so just to say the odds on the majority of the first round being guys from the middleweight division was like plus 10,000. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the list of guys. I got a lot of ways I want to go. I'm I'm gonna go with a female. Uh, she lost her last fight, which is kind of gutsy. She's actually lost her last fight to the fighter she's going against next. Uh, but I think she's gonna win the title. Um, that kind of blows my my pick <laughs> when we do the preview show. But I'm gonna go with the former champion Valentina Shevchenko as my first pick in the second round, which means Jay, you are on the clock. I am going to move up and wait uh, from my previous pick. And I lucked out. And I lucked out. And I say that for the fighter that suffered an injury to, to give me this out of not picking another champion. I'm going to go with the ultra active former champion here, Prochaska. Stoppages galore. Not many fighters are going to headline above him. And the fact that he is not a champion, he's, a, he's my light heavyweight pick. That is a, a good pick by by technical, uh, you, you know, using the rules. Very, yeah, you're uh, gonna you're gonna find that I I did the did some numbers. Yeah, very very Bill Belichick like right there, and, what can and I say? Uh, a little a little outside the box. But he's he's got to made you know he's still coming back from major injury. So, uh, Ben, you are up. You've already uh, going going to the uh, listeners. Uh, they they voted that you had the first. Uh, the worst pick of the draft so far. So uh, you're going to have to make up for that, Ben. Well, uh, I'm going to make up for that by going big. I do envy Jay for breaking open light heavyweight. It's kind of obvious that the two top light heavyweights are not holding the title right now in Prohaska and Hill. I don't feel comfortable picking Hill just because I think Prohaska beats him straight up and I don't know when Hill will be back. So give me Sergei Pavlovich. I think there's a very good chance that either he or Tom Aspinall is our champ a year from now. Uh, between the two of those, give me the guy on two good wheels. Oh, you mean heavyweight? Yeah, I said oh. I'm going heavy. Yeah. Oh, okay. And and Dev, to wrap up the second round, and who do you got? So I'm going to be going with the guy that is probably going to also fight for the 205-pound title, and his name is Alex Pajera. He is an active dude. He is a killer. He usually wins fight by finish. And I think up a weight class, especially what he showed against Blahovich, I think him and Prohoshka is going to be a banger, and I don't think it's going to be long. And I think it's going to be a main event. Yeah, and, and just, just for the record, just to um, clarify some rules, I'm just kind of winging this as we go. Uh, if you draft a guy, you know, we just had guys draft. We don't know who's going to change weight. They're going to get points if they change weight too. So if he if he fights that light headweight, goes back to middleweight, wins at middleweight, we're still giving him points. Um, because – I'm looking at Dev's team. He's going to need all the points he can get. All right. So let's let's recap the first two rounds. I'll read the, the teams. Uh, ben has heavyweight covered with Sergey Pavlovich, and he's got a UFC champion at uh, – I wrote on the wrong spot. I put it as women's flyweight, but he's not a woman. Uh, Alexander Pantoja. And uh, Dev has – Started the draft with a, opening up with a surprise pick. Uh, not a really active guy, which is surprising. And that's what goes with 
Hazmat Shemayev gets a technique get, gets a little technical getting uh, that he's not ranked at middleweight and he follows up with former middleweight champion Alex Baer. Jay goes with uh, I thought it was going to probably be the consensus champ Israel Adesanya and Yuri Prohaska, and then I am currently like they do in, in Major League Baseball. I have a perfect game going right now. I got Mr. Bo Nickel, and I got Valentina Shevchenko as my two picks. I don't have a champ yet. Uh, all right, Dev, you are back on the clock. We're starting round three. Who's your picks? All right. This is going to be pretty tough, but I think I'm going to steal him now. Um, he's another guy that's not as active, but he seems to be super favored in a really stacked division. Um, I'm going to assume that he fights in at least a main event on a fight night when he comes back. He's a dude that's a finisher. He's also undefeated, and he hails from Dagestan, Russia. Umar Namagomedov as my bantamweight. Okay, um, Dev, we were making third round picks, not ninth round picks. You you want to do the one again? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking with you, dude. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, Ben, you're up. Um, you might have been able to move from fourth place to third place. Let's uh, let's see your pick. All right, you know what? I am going to do a pick that doesn't count against my champs, but gives me some coverage and some potential in multiple divisions. I will take Aljamain Sterling. Oh, Aljamain Sterling. So we have another fighter coming off a loss, getting knocked out in the second round. That's a pretty interesting pick there. But uh, Aljamain Sterling. All right. Which means, Jay, you are on the clock. Uh, you've got kind of the... You know, the popular picks, you kind of got the big names, you, you know, former champion, a current champion. Let's see. Uh, well, who's your pick? I, I feel like I'm, I'm I'm cheating here. I don't know if I'm playing with house money or what's going on. Um, I'm going to use another champion slot. Uh, so that'll be two of three so far um, because I figured that champions are going to go. Well, I thought champions are going to go early. I expected that that some some funny colored haired guy would go over more than Umar. But I'm not judging anything because he might actually be the right. Dev might have actually done the right thing right here. I'm going to go with the lightweight champion who was favored to win in a rematch over a man he very thoroughly bested. Um, and he's he's the kind of fighter that I believe will be the headliner or at the very minimum co-main event to like a light heavyweight or a heavyweight champ fight. So this is a guy, Islam Makachev, who I find has favorable matchups up and down the line, uh, fin great finishing potential, and um, he's the champion, so I'm gonna scoop those points and go with Islam. Yeah, and if if he wins, and um, I mean, obviously this would be completely a judgment call from the UFC, but if he wins and faces Justin Gaethje, maybe he could get two belts in the same night. Ooh. I actually thought about taking him last time, um, but um, yeah, I waited on that. So you know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go with the uh, the guy that most recently beat. Islam Makachev, which is, of course, the pound pound champ, Alex Volkanovsky. I know that obviously I was I was just joking there, but I'm gonna go with uh I, I'll go. He's got a tough, he's probably not the best pick because he's got a really tough test coming up. But uh I just love the guy. I mean, you gotta pick the fantasy is supposed to be fun. How can you not like Alex Volkanovsky? Uh plus, you know, I'm way ahead right now. So I got my first champion pick. Uh I'm gonna go again. I'm going to go with a guy that has a really good chance of becoming a UFC champion, especially because the current champion in his weight class is a very good chance he just up and retires. I'm going to go with Tom Aspinall at heavyweight. So that was the start of the fourth round, Tom Aspinall, which goes back to Jay. I will be happy to take those 10 points when uh, when Pavlovich dusts Aspinall. Uh, for, for a vacant title a year from now. <laughs> All right, Jay, you are back up on the clock. You got a pretty solid team so far. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm going to keep with. I'm going to keep with the the champion level. Um, I'm not going to actually pick a champion, um, and and that's because I don't think he's going to get a title shot for a long time. Uh, even though he's going to beat everybody else other than the sitting current champion who was recently picked. Um, he fights very frequently. He still has a couple tests to go, and as long as he doesn't go to lightweight the wrong way, I think he's going to be doing just fine. Uh, Max Holloway, I think he's going to headline any fight card he runs in, and it's it's going to it's going to you know it's going to be a bad time for the other fighters. 
Did, was that right? Were you about it, to pick it, him? I didn't figure it would come up very often in a four-man league. This is the first time so far in this draft that somebody else took a fighter that I was going to take that round. So <laughs> oh, that, oh, I had oh. Pantoja was my number one pick. I swear yeah, to whatever. I, no, I was thinking about taking Max Holloway too, and, and, and you know my last pick or something. But um, okay, I mean he's not going to fight for the title, but okay, all right. So uh, that would mean that Ben, you are on the clock. Ben, um, y- you've had some interesting picks. Uh, you don't have a champion yet. Oh no, you do have a champion. I apologize. You do have a champion. <laughs> Um, are you going to go champion again? Are you going to go unranked? Where are you going to go? I am going to pick a ranked fighter who is not a champ, and maybe an uh, things would have to break the right way for him to to win a title. But he might fight for one, and he's probably going to fight a couple times, and he's probably going to win, and he's probably going to get finishes. I will take Shavkat Rachmanov at uh, welterweight. Oh, he was, he, I'm not going to lie, man. He was, he was, he was coming up on my list. Uh, he was coming up on my list. All right. So uh, finishing off the fourth round, Dev, you are on the clock. I don't know how no one has picked this fighter. This is going to be one of my champion picks and she might be the best pound for pound woman's fighter on the roster. Um, she hails from China, Zhang Wei Li. She right. gets a lot of, I mean, Gets finishes. She's yeah. active enough. She's healthy. She's yeah, yeah. very she dominant. Fought once last year. She fought once last year. Yeah, she's really active. <laughs> <laughs> All <laughs> right. So let's let's this is so Dev. I'm introducing you <laughs> how I'm introducing you how a fantasy league should be go. It should be trash talking. All right. So let's recap the picks through four rounds. Uh, Dev has uh, Alex Maher. Uh, he has got an unranked fighter in Hazmat Shemayov. He's got Umar Namaga made off his new is Umar is he he's on rank two, right? Yep. So so he, Dev is gone interesting. Umar rounds. is put? uh sure dog's number 15. Oh, oh he's okay. not. Okay. Oh, he's not. He's not. Sorry. And uh he's got a champion in Wei Li Zhang. He's got one champion. Ben has Sergei Pavlovich, Shavkak uh Rachmanov, I wish my off because I'm trying to do this fast. Uh, he's gonna I'll, go arrest one of my people. <laughs> Keith's just gonna if you're if you're like an if you come into the US Hamza and you drive crazy, Keith's just gonna come arrest you. (laughs) Don't come back to really really give it to me. (laughs) Is there reciprocity between like the Pawtucket and and Las Vegas police departments? (laughs) (laughs) Uh Aljamain, he also has Aljamain Sterling, he has his uh one champion so far, Alexander Pantoja. Uh Jay has uh, Yuri Prohaska, he's the only one with two champions right now. He has Israel Adesanya and Islam Makhshev, which means he only has one more champion he can pick. And he has former champion Max Holloway. Uh, I'm still pitching a perfect draft. I have Tom Maspinall, Mr. Bo Nickel, one of my champions, Alex Volkanovsky, and Valentina Shevchenko, who will be champion later this month. And to answer a comment real quick, I, I thought about Khabib coming back and, and 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 winning the title, and he probably will. But it'd be at, at like middleweight, and then that's gonna have to be you're gonna have to wait a long time to get to the pecking order that way. Because have it you seen be a, him lately? He might he's be a heavyweight. He's a. He's on be. that that Mark Munoz like coach arc. But it, but at the same time, have you seen Fedor lately? He is shredded. So, I digress. Yeah. All right, so uh, so Jay is going to make a surprise pick and pick Fedor next round. <laughs> so, um, all right, so uh, Dev, you're back up again. We're starting the fifth round. These are the rounds where you make your money. Everyone always thinks about the early rounds. It's the middle rounds that you make your money right now, Dev. No pressure. But all right. Up. Well, I'm going to go with men's lightweight, and I'm going to go with a guy that. Is probably going to fight in the main event real soon here. He's young. He's highly touted. He has a loss to the current champion. I'm going to go with Armin Sarukian. Ooh. Armin Sarukian. All I right. Like so he's, he's the first person drafted. This next fight will probably be in the prelims. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not true. I'm like, I'm, obviously, I'm joking. Uh, next, Ben, you are up so far. Um, Solid balanced team. Uh, where do you want to go with this? Uh, I think I am going to take a fighter that may fight for titles twice in the next 12 months. Uh, I will take Raquel Pennington. 
uh, Ben, um, we don't have a lot of time on the show, so we don't have time to make joke picks. So can we get you serious, your real pick? I will take Raquel Pennington. <laughs> okay. All right, Jay, you are up. Shit. <laughs> Oh man, I was gonna pick Juliana Pena. Uh, let's see. Ugh, not uh, even as I, a joke. I, I think since we're, I might as well because we're in round five, and 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 I probably want to get this out of the way so that I can get, then clear the way for some unranked fighters. Uh, I think I'm going to go with my last champion, and this one, this is tough because I'm not sure how to gauge his activity level because he should be an active champion, but for some reason, the UFC is dragging its heels, booking the match that he's supposed to fight in. So with luck, he'll be fighting in the co-main event and he will put the, the screws to Colby Covington, defend his title again, and, and then we'll have to see who the heck that they make uh, champion, welterweight champion Leon Edwards face next. All right. Yeah, that, that's, that was the guy I was looking at. Um because it's just such a stacked division. It's hard to have confidence in any uh, welterweight pick. Well, it's, it's uh, the kind of thing you guys talk about in your preview show. If you're going to take this fighter to be a champion or whatever over the or against the field, you'd want to take the field every time. Like Bantamweight. How the yeah. heck can we say who's going to be the champion in 12 yeah. months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go, you know, fantasy is supposed to be fun. You want to cheer for guys. So, you know, this guy, he's not close to a title shot, especially at welterweight. But damn, is this guy fun. I'm going to go with Ian Machado, Gary. Yeah, put that guy at my team. I, I, plus, he said I had a good smile uh, in in uh, uh -huh. in Boston. So, was that before or after the Cheeto shower? That was that was no, that was the uh, that was on. Um, go on. That Wasn't was on, that the night he took a shower with or Ian Gary and then the Cheeto thing? Did you guys not see that video? I, no. There's a, there's a video of both it. of them. I don't know if it was um, Cheeto Vera or Cheetos, the food. No, no, source, che but... Cheeto Vera. They're both naked, taking separate showers. Dev, <laughs> Dev, good for them. Dev, who do you think was holding the video camera? Come on. Keith. I'm with sorry. his teeth. <laughs> Shurtuk doesn't, doesn't have the best coverage for no reason. All right. So uh, starting the sixth round now, uh, we're looking at my weight classes. What do I need? Oh, man. There's a couple ones. Oh God! I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the. Listen, it's about having fun again. I'm gonna go with someone, uh, probably the most injury risk person on this entire, uh, in the entire UFC roster. But the you know it's one of those boom and bust. Is it's your Cooper Cup? It's your tra it's your Travis Kelsey pick. I'm gonna go with Tatiana Suarez because she's fighting for the title. And she's gonna win. Give me Tatiana Suarez. Um, all right, now that is six rounds. I am up again. Uh, you guys want to? You guys want to recap the picks, or do you want to? Let's keep punch, let's keep punching keep through. Yes, right. yeah. I'll post this on on uh, Sure Dog's actual front page afterwards, and I'll recap the whole draft. All right, all right. Let's go to. I'm up again. I'm gonna go with. Well, I thought you already had Gary and Suarez, right? All right, I tried cheating. Give me a break. Yeah. yeah. All right. So hold on. All right. So who's so I didn't mean I lost track. Who's up? Jay's yeah. next. Jay is up. I mean, I'm sorry. Jay is up. So good. Uh, I'm going to go with a ranked fighter as I am out of champions. Um, I, I will use my unranked spots for later on because I have a few names that I think are gonna make it. Um, but I'm still gonna keep it fun because I think this fighter is going to win the title in his next fight. And I think he's going to do it by finish. I think he's going to do it by a fighter that one of you might end up picking. I'm actually surprised he hasn't gone so far. And it's speaking of naked showers, I'm going to pick the other member of the nude shower that was just suggested by Dev and Marlon Cheeto Vera for Bantamweight. And it wasn't the shower that picked that swayed me. That was just like the icing on the, the, the cake. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 I mean, I understand, I understand the pick there. It's like, you know, a guy that, uh, He's on a one fight winning streak, arguably lost that fight. And uh yeah, I'm sure he's yeah, he's and he's active and he tries to fight for the active. finish, and he's going to destroy Sean O'Malley. Oh my lord. That's on who still isn't picked, by the way. I'm very surprised by that. That's uh, what that's what I'm saying. Extremely surprised by that. Let's see. Ben, are you gonna take the sugar? No, you, yeah, 
No, you can't. You already took the guy he knocked got knocked out by him. So uh, you are not taking the sugar show. Who are you taking? I might as well dip into the bag for one of my unranked fighters. No, I take that back because my unranked fighters, I can grab them anytime. Yeah. Um, I will take a ranked fighter that's uh, probably going to fight for a title this year. No, I'm lying. I'll I'll take an unranked fighter. Uh, give me Rose Nami Yunus, who just said that she plans to stay at 125. All right. So Old move, sir. Yeah. So he changed his mind. Five I changed times. my mind like three times in five seconds there. <laughs> it's still went with Thug Rose. All right. And Dev, let's wrap up the round. All right. Oh, man. You, you still got heavyweight, welterweight, featherweight, flyweight, women's bantamweight, and women's flyweight open. All right. Heavyweight. I'm going to pick a guy that has got a really tough test coming up, but it is in a main event. And he likes to finish people as well. Um, it's not Cyril Gone. It is Jalton Almeida. Ooh, I like that pick. Yeah, yeah that's a good he, pick. That's a great pick, especially when he might lose his next fight. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. We went to the uh, quick poll. I just take a quick poll real quick. Um, worst pick so far of the draft so far still goes to Ben. This time it went from uh, Alexander Pantoja to Raquel Pennington. <laughs> which is funny because she is going to win the title next like and, uh, it's it's I uh, her she, might, she might be a two division champ a year from now listen whoever oh. whoever books raquel pennington in the title shot next should luke should get fired i agree <laughs> but i'm still betting on it <laughs> oh god well i thought that uh, all, the, all the signs pointed to pennington versus pena actually no for you them. forget though holly holm gets the title shot no matter what <laughs> like, no well matter now that her win is going her loss is going to be probably overturned or no contest <laughs> yeah that's true good point i don't even <laughs> think that matters at bantamweight yeah. women's bantamweight <laughs> or, <laughs> or when holly holm fights she automatically gets oh, the main event title shot all right so okay. All right, so now my, Jay, Ra Jay, you are up. You have don't heavy... I get don't I get back to back? Dead Wait, time. Oh, I'm sorry. I was still talking about Raquel Pennington. Sorry. So, yes. so for those who do fantasy at home, there's like a ticker going across. It's very organized. Uh, I'm doing this off the top of my head. So, Dev, um, we probably should give you two more picks based on these picks you've had so far. So, oh, all right. So you uh, have welterweight, featherweight, flyweight, women's bantamweight, and women's flyweight. I am going to go with a featherweight that's probably going to fight in a main event or get a title fight, um, especially a dude that's young and has a lot of longevity and we don't know what Volk's future holds. I'm going to go with Ilya Toporia. It's a good sneaky, a good sneaky, hey, where did those extra five points because he won a, an interim title come from? That's a good point. Um because obviously the only thing he can win is interim title because he's not beating my guy, Alex Volkanovsky. Well, when Volkanovsky tries again against Makachev and then loses I know, to I my guy, Islam Makachev. Yeah, I shouldn't have thought of that. I, I should have thought of that <laughs> instead of just – I just when you get the best guy sitting there. Oh, it's can, fun. It's Yeah, because, yeah. Because I he's going to have one on me in a minute. So No, one of those I'm starting to rethink about. I'm like, shit, he's got his toughest challenge probably to date in Deporia coming up, or he moves out of weight to fight Makachev. And Can you imagine old. if if the lightweight division is so stacked as it is, and they just keep running people back for Islam, Volko Oliveira, Volko Oliveira, instead of having somebody like you know that that guy who hasn't been picked yet and fights in mostly main events and is fight of the year three times in sure dog. Anyway, carry on, gentlemen. All right. So right now, um, Ben has a unranked fighter in Rose Nami Yunus because he did pick her out of weight class. So we give we'll give him a technicality there uh you currently do not you only have one champion one unranked so you can you still have to give me one unranked and you can only take two more champions not many not many ufc champions still available though ben where are you going well i you know as <sighs> You know what? I'm just going to... He's going to pass. All right, Jay, you're up. <laughs> you know what? I will take uh, Yan Xiaonan at Strawweight. 
All right, Jan Shannon. So that's going um, with the that when we have two females from China who is currently drafted. Mm-hmm. So that'll get our, our viewership in China up. I think uh, that's our, all of them. Where, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this. <laughs> no, there's a couple. There's another. No, I'm just no. being silly. There's not no, no, no. Liang. But if she's still in the roster, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. God. All right, so uh, Jay, you are up. Let's just take a real quick look at Jay's. Uh, Jay, you have your three champions already taken. So you cannot take yep. a UFC champion, which means you are not taking John Jones, the goat, the greatest fighter of all time, according nope. to the Shill and Duffy. Is still not picked. He's fighting nope. in a month or uh, two months. Excuse me. It's the arrest and Usada thing. It's it's <laughs> it's <laughs> he, dude. Yeah, he, okay. can, yeah, he can defend the title and still end up costing you points on the year. Yeah. yeah. Especially if he wins the title, he can, the last... he can win a he can win a title fight against one of your other our other guys. You get the extra ten points and still end up you know pulling negative. Well, um, it, 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 the good thing about John Jones is his next fight's in New York City. It's not in L A. I assume not, be, not in Las Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. Well, Nysak, he still, Nysak he, hits people like hammers. He, he still might be he still might be able to get arrested in all five boroughs during the week. <laughs> you know, let's see if that can happen. <laughs> all right, uh, so you can't take a champion. So we know. We know right now John Jones is not going, um, and uh, that's it. All the other weight classes, the champions have been dra- uh, picked in, in your in the ones that are available for you. But so- you have inspired me to, to go stick with the heavyweight division, and it's a guy who's fighting uh, probably in the next couple days. Uh, I guess I want to start the, the, the whole year off, you know, race ahead with a bunch of guys that are fighting and, and likely winning, likely winning by stoppage on pay-per-view main cards. Uh, that gives my pick away. Heavyweight Alexander Volkov. He's yeah. not going to be fighting for a title anytime soon, so he can rule out ugly losses to the Gon and Jones and maybe Steve Page of the world, which means he's going to have a steady diet of like ranked five to 12 guys yeah. that he'll probably be able to steamroll. So give me Alexander Volkov there. Yeah, I actually had him number two on my list at heavyweights just because of that reason. I figured he started off with a probably a stoppage win right off the bat in the co main event of a pay view. That's a lot of points. That's this is why you can't go against Jay. Jay's crunching the numbers. He's got his algorithm. It's all set. Um, I'm up for two. I want to ask the group before I make my pick. Should I pass my next two to kind of balance it out a little bit for you guys, or just so? Because I mean, if I run away with it so bad. I don't think I think we want to give in the event that you blow us out of the water with your two extra picks. We can then go. Oh man, if we had only let put taken a couple of picks away from Keith, we might have had a chance. So let's go with let's go with you. You you blowing us away with your next two picks. All right, all right. I'm gonna go. He's not that active, which is good, which is kind of bothers me. Uh, but like I said, I'm going for the all fun team. It's a sugar show. Give me my give me my second champ. Give me Sean O'Malley. I got Ireland stand up. I'm the most popular. I got Sean O'Malley. I got Ian Gary. I'm sure Bo Nickel has some Irish in them. <laughs> you seen go. that ginger? Yeah, he's yeah. he's got some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and let's go. I still have so now we're starting round round eight. So we're almost done with the show. I still have light heavyweight. Lightweight, flyweight, women's bantamweight, still to go. I still have to pick an unranked fighter. Dude, stay Irish. Take that Kiefer Crosby guy that just fought the guy that looks like a bobblehead of Canelo. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about going Connor. Like, he's, not, uh, he's not going. He's not fighting lightweight. He's so. a non. Un, he's a non-champion unranked fighter. I'm gonna and go you with. Could be able to say whatever division you want him to be. <laughs> I'm gonna go with an unranked fighter. Who's been extremely inactive, which is why he, she is, she is unranked. I don't think anybody saw this one coming. I'm going back in time. Former champion, supposedly coming back at the end of the calendar year. I'm going with Jermaine Durandamy oh, oh my as my unranked women's band. What do you think? I take it, Ronda Rousey? Yes. <laughs> no, I'm going. I'm going Jermaine Durandamy, women's band away as a surprise sleeper pick. She is still she is unranked because she had baby. Yeah. So Jay, you're she's up. also what like is, fifty. Jay, Jay, you're up. He's so also a is, cop, so Keith's yeah. all over that. Oh god. I got everything. Hmm? She's, she's gonna help arrest my people. 
<laughs> yeah. only, just, only if your people are doing bad things in Amsterdam. Yeah. Hey, and you know what? She's Hamza? probably, she's probably <laughs> only went away from a title shot. So, uh, well, Jermaine, Jermaine and Holly Holm, let's do it. Let's We've never seen that fight much. before. <laughs> All right, Jay, you are up. You have. I have four flyweight and the ladies left. And, and you, you do not have an unranked pick yet. I don't, and I have some good ones that I'm gonna that are in my pocket that I think are gonna make it. I'm gonna still keep with a ranked fighter. This is actually a really tough one. I'm I'm gonna go with the flyweight division for the women. Um, mm. a, and it was a it was a one a one b situation. So I'm pretty sure that the pick I'm about to make, Dev is gonna make the other one. And with this one, I thought she was going to be the one that would be fighting for the title. Uh, after, which means she'll have another fight, another main event win. Give me Aaron Blanchfield. Sky's the limit for this lady, and 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 Dev can take the one that I didn't say. Uh, that just so, fought. So Ben Ben is up. Ben could jump in between, and he. Uh, oh no, he can't because he decided to go with Rose Nami Uh, uh guys, are, guys are laughing now. All right. Uh, <laughs> it was just a dislocation. It's already good to go. Yeah, yeah. All right. I yeah, she's like she's but, but Ben she's probably busy like like picking turnips or something in, in, in the garden. You know, <laughs> her finger looked like it was giving the rest of her hand bad directions. I got hey, I look at my finger. Look at this, this finger. finger is perfectly healthy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, check, hey, check out that finger. That's an old wrestling injury. But that, you, you that, can't that. knock farm strength though because no. Matt Hughes and his brother and True the Barn. Yeah, I've I've got one too where I like taped the one finger to the next one so that like my opponent wouldn't realize I had a broken finger. What are we oh, doing? Yeah. Jaws now? Do I need to yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So Ben, you are up. You still have uh light heavyweight, middleweight, lightweight, and featherweight. All right. Well, I need to uh, use one of my unranked picks. I'm gonna use it at featherweight. If I were smart and all about winning, I'd probably take Joe Anderson Brito just because he is killing people and he's been pretty busy. But where's the fun in that? I'm going to take the currently unranked but always entertaining and always uh, dangerous Edson Barboza. Ha. And he just got booked in a main event. Sure that's did. Really good idea. Oh, good. That's, that's a good good play. Yeah. And, he, he and, he pick the other ranked, and he got ranked and he got it against uh, Sadiq. S Sadiq Yusuf. Mm -hmm. where it's a winnable fight. It's yeah. a winnable fight. Yep. All right, and Dev, to finish up the eighth round, you have uh, welterweight, flyweight, women's bantamweight, and women's flyweight left. I am going to knock out both of my, both of the other women that I've got to pick here. Um, I'm going to use one Crazy. of my unranked, one of my unranked, um, and I'm surprised no one scooped her up, but not really. She gets a lot of finishes. She seems that she's going to fight pretty often. I'm going to go with Karini Silva. Ooh, nice. All she right. She was my sleeper at flyweight. You can take the other Silva. She's not. She's not ranked, huh? Mm -mm. She's not. All right. Nice job, Dev. It, it, Dev it's not bad. It, it only took you eight rounds before you got a good pick. Not bad. And the the other woman I'm going to be Whoops. picking. <laughs> He's out of here. Um, it's women's bantamweight, so. He, he, yeah. Um, even though she just got popped for PEDs, she was just really trying to concentrate. Um, I'm going to go with Meyer Buenasova. I don't think the PED thing is going to matter for matchmakers moving forward with her as it should, just because it is women's bantam weight and Meyer Buenasova. Is there, is there any kind of suspension going on? Uh, they're saying six months max, but it could be time served, which means she could fight at the end of the year. I think. No, not yet. No, not yet. But and she's That's like, I'll stay awake until then. Not the end what? of this year. Like, How do like, you not get a TUE? It's twenty twenty three. Like, well, you can't get a TUE to crush and snort it like off yes. of the yeah off the bathroom counter at your at your gym. <laughs> All right, so we had. Back over to Ben. Ben right now has one unranked fighter, so he still has to take one, and he only has one champion. But here's the thing. Of the three weight classes left, none of the champions are left in that weight class. So Ben will only roll with one champion in this draft, which he used in the first round, by the way. Ben doesn't give a damn. And Ben, <laughs> ben is, is going to steal the most ludicrous, like, unranked fighter probably on the entire roster off of y'all. I am going to take Asimov Mirzakhanov at light heavyweight. 
Oh, oh, oh I had dang. him on my list. That's a good idea. Oh, I had him on my list. The only question I have is what his timetable for return is. I don't know, actually. But it's not, it wasn't like a like a, a knee ACL thing. It was just, I think it was something that won't take long. So, so, so far, uh, both Ben and Dev has, re- has finished their requirement unranked fighters. Um, I have, I have two, I'm sorry. I have uh, Bo Nickel and Jermaine Deronomy and Jay currently does not nope. have an unranked fighter, which means That's correct. his next three, he has to pick. Yes, sir. And they're all still on the board except for Silva. Silva. But I got Aaron Blanchfield, so I'm good there. All right, so Jay, you're up. I am up. I am going to go to the strawweight division with a non-champion, current-ranked fighter um, named Darren Elkins. No, it, uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's going to be the kind of fighter that's going to headline that has more name recognition than they have championship eligibility for the time being. Which means they'll fight in main events. They'll probably get finishes. Um, and and they fight often enough to uh, to to make the list and get two or three at the end of the year next year. So give me Mackenzie Dern. Uh, I think she's my my suddenly get a bunch of points out of nowhere straw weight that I think is going to do well for my team. Okay, she's she's ranked though. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. So my last two were my unranked, and I got some good ones. All right. He goes. Mackenzie Dern. Um, so I am on the clock. I have light heavyweight, lightweight, and f- and flyweight still to go. Uh, I'm going to go with a flyweight. I'm going to go with a finisher at flyweight. Mm. Now, I'm taking a gamble when it comes to the negative five with the weight cuts. But what I love about this guy is – He'll miss weight and he'll still call for a title shot, which I love. I'm gonna go with Manal Cop. Very nice. It's gonna get you some points this weekend. Uh, yeah, he's gonna uh, dust. He's gonna dust a fool this weekend. Oh, Manal oh, Cop against a short notice opponent this weekend is. Yeah. Just... It was like half of the contender series. It's now find a Manal Cop. Best it, of it, luck it, to you, sir. In fairness, <laughs> in fairness, though, he still he still might miss weight. So <laughs> I could I could end up uh, I could end up uh, in the negatives. And I'm going to go – so I got light heavyweight and I got lightweight. I, I don't like a lot of the light heavyweights left, uh, but I'm looking at the other team. I'm trying to look at a little strategy here, and I'm looking at uh, – Ben still has an opening at lightweight. He might take – I'm going to go with a guy. Uh, he's ranked low, but he just got booked in the main event. I'm going to go Grant Dawson. Nice. All right. So now with that said, um, that was the start of the 10th round, which mm-hmm. goes back to Jay. Jay has to go unranked for the next two picks. Going unranked these for the next two These picks. are his Hail Mary picks. Uh, these normally would be my Hail Mary picks, um, but I feel like this next fighter, who is my last male fighter to be picked, uh, is technically still an unranked fighter unless I made an egregious error. Uh, which I'm going to review again. No, I still I'm still good, but most likely he will be ranked when he ends up winning his next fight, keeping himself undefeated, keeping himself as the best fighter from that region, probably currently fighting in the UFC, give or take uh, uh, a name that you come up with. I am going with the unranked flyweight Tatsuro Tyra to suddenly punch his way up into main car billings, and yeah. As long as he doesn't, as long as he doesn't move to Connecticut, because because uh, Ben does not like uh, Japanese people living in Connecticut. I mean, all right, as one does. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, next is next is Ben, but Ben, what, you also you also don't like Connecticut people living in Japan either, right? Absolutely, like okay. I can't stand either. I'm like really really bigoted that way. <laughs> it's a long story. Yeah, uh, that's 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 an old one. For so I got lightweight and middleweight left. Is that correct? You have middleweight and lightweight. You you've you've got all your unranked in, so you don't have to pick an unranked. You can pick anybody you want. I, I can I can talk. I can help. I can help you out with some names out there that are. Yeah, I I I'm okay. I don't I don't feel I need the the help. All right. At middleweight, I am going to take Sean Strickland. Okay, that, I mean that's 
that could be some serious points this weekend if he pulls up a big upset. Even if he doesn't, I think he's going to fight two or three more times in the next year, and he's probably going to headline at least a fight night or something. I'll take him, even if I think he's going to lose. All right. It's, it's, a, it's a good strategy to, to know I might take a hit because then he'll be back in the middle of the pack fighting yeah. Roman Jalize. Yeah, I mean, because it, it sounds like they might have to actually like amputate a couple of Drickus Duplessis toes uh, after the accident. So I just don't feel comfortable picking him to, to come back in the next year. I don't get the reference, but I want to. It's no reference. I just made it up to make you guys. Oh, uh, I was like, I was, what the hell? <laughs> I've been away a couple of days, so who knows? <laughs> hey, I was going to draft the Cooper Cup without knowing the news. So he was coming up on my list. Um, all right, Dev. No pressure. This is completing your team. You got welterweight. You got flyweight. Dev, you ain't got a popular team right now. I'm just being honest. You ain't got a popular team. You got to get the mm -hmm. fans on your side. Give me Conor McGregor. Come on. Gosh, give me Conor. No. Uh, no. Give me Conor um, McGregor. I'm going to give you a flyweight, and he's another flyweight finisher. He – can potentially fight pretty high up in the rankings. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'm going to go with Brandon Royval. Rada. Mm -hmm. He could he could be fighting for the title soon too. I think. Well, I, I yeah. think that was. I think that's actually uh, being what teed the up a little is. bit. I think. That, I think that's because they have their history. Have they announced it yet? I, I, not officially, but Sean Sean Sheehan is in the chat. Sean, get in there. Go break the news. And next time, if Sean, if I knew it was going to be a chat, I would have got Sean and Adam. We got we would have a six team. Uh, going right now all right well, you wouldn't Dev. have been able to pick ian gary yeah <laughs> yeah sean's gotta love my team i got all the Irishmen. <laughs> all right you would have picked connor maybe uh, yeah you, that's true on rank non-champion that's totally gonna fight this year it's your, <laughs> Dev, it's your last pick oh, man, if you went connor okay. i would laugh i'm gonna no. go a little bit unconventional but he's a dude that fights a lot he's a dude that can get finishes he is my last welterweight he can i guess it from can, can i go guess ahead. it you said yeah. fights a lot, gets a lot of finishes, which kind of tricked me. I was thinking when you said fights a lot, I was thinking Neil Magny. But then you said gets a lot of finishes. I said, oh, maybe Kevin Holland. Is it one of those two guys? I'm thinking it's Kevin Holland. Holland. Oh. Kevin Holland, not a bad pick. Kevin Holland. Not a bad. So you get a little popular there with Kevin Holland. I still think you should have went with Connor. All right. <laughs> Jay, you've had a good pick, but you know what they say. Actually, yeah, I just let you do it. Women's bandwidth, you got to go on ranks. Did I miss? Did I miss something? I thought that De I thought Dev has another pick. No, no, he just did two in a row, right? He did Royval he and Royval. Okay, my mistake. Uh, then Ben. No, yes, what happened is your memory just wanted you to forget that he picked. No, it's Royval. it's the Ben was next. That's what it was. No, no, it's just your memory saying just forget that he picked Brandon Royval. Yes, yes, like, it did. It did. And I even did the dark whole thoughts just put on your mind. All right, Jay, you're up. Women's Bantamweight unranked fighter. To nope, still me. Still still me. Oh, oh, why I am I messing one. up the order? I'm sorry, Ben. I'm sorry. We just were skipping Ben um, so he'd give a little more time to think. Hey, you can still go Connor lightweight. I got to get the uh, well, Connor. I got to say Connor a bunch of times. If, to he, get our if he fights, he's guaranteed the headline every single time. Good. That's a good point. So, I, I mean, lose. even if he lose by loses, finish, though. that's the problem. I'm, I'm antsy picking Gaethje or Poirier just because they just barely fought and neither of them has been that active recently. I'm worried that I'm about to pick an elite fighter who's going to fight exactly once in the next 12 months and might win or might lose. You know, I'm going to go a little outside the box here and I am going to take Michael Chandler. He wants to fight. He's owed a fight. He's going to want to stay busy. And I think, yeah. I think he's probably going to fight more times than Gaethje or Poirier, and if he wins, he's probably going to get finishes. So I'll take Michael Chandler as my last pick. <laughs> not if he's still away from Connor, he might not be. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right, and Jay, finish up. Uh, you've had a pretty good, solid draft so far. The algorithm's been working. Uh, I just want to see. Yeah, you know, this is this is. You can tell by your picks. This is a sure dog ranking algorithm. This is one of the most topology rankings where <laughs> it's a real gone. Yeah. We're CM Punk is a rank fighter yeah. and there's Bob yeah. Sapp right next to him. And All right. This is my unranked bantamweight, women's bantamweight fighter. And this is this is a pick that might get me into some trouble uh, if she can make weight. Um, <laughs> and and the, boom, even if I get the, the spot, maybe 
she's like a i don't know like a fight night co-main that's probably her upside spot so that's two points and then another for a, de uh, a decision so that'd be like minus two points if she wins and misses weight Oh, so Macy Shersan, please don't miss weight. Oh, Come Macy. back into your into the bantamweight division that is currently your home. You're very, very strong. That up kick will not happen ever again in in the UFC. So, so take solace in that. Uh, congratulations on your recent wedding, and she'll be back soon to round out my team. And she she's uh, not ranked. She's not ranked either, huh? She's nope. not ranked. Nice job. I thought when you I thought you'd go with Josie Nunes. Dropping down. That's what I thought you'd go with. I, I, I feel like she's gonna miss weight. All right. You, you already missed height. <laughs> she's not Shane Carwin. She doesn't cut height. All right. Oh, and to and, and to finish the draft, Mister Irrelevant is not irrelevant at all because he's the most talented light heavyweight in the field. He probably should already have the title according to. John you can't Mahovic. pick Bo Nickel twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Magomed and Kalayev as, as my light heavyweight. So there you guys have it. We have done all the picks. Let's recap real quick. Uh, we just hit the one hour mark. Uh, that's counting with the uh, timer going. So uh, we'll try to wrap this up before 10 o'clock. We'll start with we're doing the calculations real quick. All right. In fourth place. He started off rough and it just kept going rough. It's Ben, my main man, Ben. Uh, this is just proof that he just rides my coattails on the Shillin and Duffy show. Uh, but this is his team heavyweight, Sergey Pavlovich, light heavyweight, Osmot Mirzakhanov, middleweight, could be the new champion soon, Sean Strickland, welterweight, Shafkat Rachmanov, lightweight, Michael Chandler, featherweight, Edson Barbosa, bantamweight, Aljamain Sterling, his only champion he picks. Uh, Alexander Pantoja, women's bantamweight. He's picking, going to be champion soon. Raquel Pennington, a women's flyweight. Rose Namunas, that was a very surprise pick. And women's uh, strawweight, uh, Jan Shannon. That is Team Duffy. Put in hashtag Ben, hashtag Duffy, if you think he's got a, the best team. In third place, we have an upset. Third place, Jay Petri. Comes in in Woo! third place. He's getting points right out the gate with Alexander Volkov. Problem is his sec his light heavyweight pick Yuri Prohaska is on the shelf. He was actually the one who's getting his toes cut off. Ben, you got the your news wrong. Uh, he's going to get another points from Israel Adesanya. The problem is all the rest of the fighters are not going to win. Leon Edwards, <laughs> Islam Makhachev. So he got three in a row for champions. Israel Leon. Islam Makhachev. So that's the max champions. He has three. Mm -hmm. He's got Max Holloway at featherweight, bantamweight, Marlon Chito Vera, flyweight, Katsura Tyra, women's bantamweight, Macy Chasson, women's flyweight, Aaron Blanchfield, and women's strawweight, Mackenzie Dern. Uh, this one is going in, taking second place. This one's going in the Sherdog upsets. Dev Tahada took second place. Uh, <laughs> he's got heavyweight, Shelton Almeida, light heavyweight, Alex Pajaya. Middleweight, his unranked fighter, Hazmat Shemayev. Welterweight, sneaky pick in Kevin Holland. Lightweight, Armin Sarukian. Featherweight, Ilya Taporia. Bantamweight, Umar Namagamadov. Flyweight, Brandon Royval. Women's bantamweight, Myra Bueno Silva. Women's flyweight, Karine Silva. And women's strawweight, uh, Wang Zeli. The only champion he picked. And um, guys, history was made. I did throw a perfect draft. Uh, heavyweight, Tom Aspinall. Light heavyweight. Uh, Magomed and Goliath. My first round pick, of course, was Mr. Bo Nickel at middleweight. Ian Machado Gary at welterweight. Lightweight Grant Dawson. At featherweight Alex Volkanowski. Bantamweight Sean O'Malley. Flyweight Manel Kopp. Women's bantamweight Jermaine Duranami. Women's flyweight Valentina Shevchenko. Women's strawweight Tatiana Suarez. So before we close up, Ben, tell me the best pick by Jay of the draft. Give me his worst pick. I think Jay's best pick might be Marlon Vera. He's going to be busy. He's the kind of personality that would be really easy for him to sneak into a title shot. So that's just bonus upside. If all he does is go out and be Marlon Vera for a year, Jay's in good shape. All right. And his worst pick. Jay's worst pick. 
I'm going to say it's Prohaska because there's just such a good chance that he fights just once this year. And even if it's for a title, I mean, that's a pile of points, but that's his second round pick, man. All right, Jay, tell me what's Dev's best pick. Dev's best pick. To me, the upside is all there for his number two pick, Alex Pereira. I think there are some really good matchups for him. Um, even though I took Yuri Prochaska in my second round pick, I thought of the matchup and I thought of, boy, Yuri gets hit a lot. And Alex Pereira likes to walk you down and slug you in the face. So there's real danger, danger there that Pereira, who just upset Jan Blachowicz, uh, could be right in line for a championship opportunity. And I think that's that's a that's a that's a dangerous guy who is trying desperately to fight actively because he knows he only has so many years left on his his shelf. All and right, his worst pick. I gotta go number five, Armin Sarukian, and it's not because he's not a talented lightweight who's going to win plenty of fights. It's that he's now Sarukian to me has put himself in the upper echelon of fighting guys that. The, the, the Poirier's, the Gaethje's of the world, the, the Mateus Gamrat level of, of one to seven or eight fighters, which is going to make it difficult to not only get a fight and, and, and stay active, but beat that person. And, and I think that that's the upside is there because he's got the skills, but it's the schedule that lightweight is so dangerous with. All right. Uh, Dev. You're the newest member, so I'm going to give you the hardest job. It's kind of like, um, you know, hazing. You got to pick my best pick. I mean, that's a lot. I mean, try, try to pick only one. What's my best pick? Even though he's a guy that has lost recently and we don't know what his future holds, I think your best pick is still probably Volk um, because he's probably the closest dude that has shown anything to have any sort of a chance even against a guy like Islam, and we already kind of know where he stands against everyone else at 145. All right, and obviously um, my worst pick is still better than anybody else's pick in the division, but uh, of these 11 amazing fighters, which one will score like only 100 points for me compared to you know, 125 or something? Did you take John Jones as your heavyweight? No, I think Tom Aspinall. Took John Jones. No, John okay, Jones okay. did not get drafted. Okay. Um, God, this is tough. You did have a lot of good picks. Who was your woman's straw weight? Tatiana Suarez. Tatiana Suarez. See, I think Whaley's going to beat her. I don't think Suarez has looked amazing, even though she's winning two fights, even though she's she's a wrestler jumping guillotine. Um, so I think Zhang Whaley, my girl's going to go out there and beat her. All right. And I'll do I'll do Ben Ben's best pick. Um, I'm going to go with uh, go with. Rachmanov, because you know he's going to be in—he's a finisher for one. He's going to be in big fights. He's going to be on main cards at least. Maybe I could see him getting a headlining sometime this year. So uh, he won't win a title uh, just because that division is so stacked. Not that he doesn't have the talent to. Just the—I'm um, I'm taking off my shit talk and just being serious for a second. Just it's the line is long, yeah. and someone like Kobe Covington uh, standing in front of line, and then that fighting each other makes it wait even longer. Uh, his worst pick. I'm gonna go Rose unless she changes division. Uh, I just that's that's gonna be tough. She 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 looked okay. I mean, it was I mean she obviously got thrown right to the wolves, and and that's what you expect from, um, yeah, the Rose Nami Yunus. All right, I'm when gonna they match the, her against like Jillian Robertson in her next might. fight. They might. They gonna, might. Oh, you guys to be like, oh, I see where Ben's yeah, like Jillian's yeah, fighting be, at 115. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Dude, you snagging Manel Cop in the second to last round might be the steal of the entire draft. But, <laughs> dude, you taking Antonina Shevchenko in the second or second round, that's not going to pay off for you. <laughs> what? You took Antonina Shevchenko in the <laughs> second <laughs> round, right? Nice try. Mm -hmm. Nice try. I didn't hear him specify. Uh, Guys, <laughs> if you thought he meant we heard Shevchenko. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice job, nice job, man. Nice job. Oh, <laughs> that was my bold. Man, man. My bold, my oh, picks with Bo Nickel and Tony Shevchenko. All right, I'm gonna real quick before I'm gonna name some people that wasn't drafted that might surprise some people. Uh, heavyweight, the current champion, John Jones, and the guy who's fighting him, yep, Stephen Miocic. How about the guy with the most knockouts in UFC history, Derek Lewis, wasn't drafted. Uh, I think light heavyweight, all the you know, all the biggest names kind of really went. 
uh, middleweight, Ro- Roman Delice is someone that I thought could go. Drikas Duplessis, a uh, guy that could be fighting for the title really soon. And how about Brendan Allen, who's just – he's actually not ranked, which is surprisingly, and he's super active. Uh, middleweight, Neil Magny, obviously a guy that's super active, always fighting. And, of course, the biggest star, Conor McGregor. <laughs> Some big names at lightweight did not get drafted. Charles Oliveira, Justin Gaethje. Uh, I even thought of a guy like Terrence Bikini because he just finishes guys if he's going to win. He's unranked. Um, featherweight, Arnold Allen, Bryce Mitchell, a couple guys. How about this? A guy that could win the title this year at Bantamweight, Marab, the Fouls Philly, did not get drafted. Uh, Sang Yadong, uh, another guy I was looking at. Uh, how about this for Flyweight? Another guy that could win the title, Brandon Moreno. No one took Brandon Moreno. Uh, uh, women's Bantamweight, I guess, Juliana Pena. She's going to be fighting for the title. She wasn't drafted. Uh, Irene Aldana, Ketlin Vieira, Holly Holm. Uh, women's featherweight, Manon Faro just got a huge win. She didn't get drafted. Uh, Macy Barber, another one. And uh, women's strawweight, I think all the top ones go. Uh, that said, Dev, tell the people where they can follow you, all that good stuff, and uh, where they can um, heckle you for your picks. You can heckle me for my picks. Um, Dev goes fishing on Twitter, Instagram. Sounds just like it is. Um, and then I do my show, Check the Kick, for sure, dog. That gets dropped on Tuesdays. Hopefully, you guys can tune into that, too. Um, Jay, tell tell them when they can follow you. Well, I, I think, first of all, this has been a lot of fun, actually. I, I've, I enjoyed thinking about it. I enjoyed, you know, putting the pieces together and going, oh, Sadiq Yusuf would be a great unranked guy. You know, just, just the kind of the fights and – and, Jay, I got to interrupt you real quick. Yeah, I, I, I got to say this. It's nice to have you on because it's nice to know that someone actually took time to think about it. <laughs> unlike, <laughs> the, unlike the well, how me and Ben normally do the show in a Duffy show, we eh. don't think so. Good night, nice job. All it, right, continue. It, 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 ha- it comes with the territory, I guess. But this is this is the kind of thing that I could catch on, or I think it's also the kind of thing that I think we should, as as a sure dog, which is is now the the term as a sure dog. Uh, Put standings or or updates no, it'll, it'll or something. Be, no, it'll be updated every month. Oh, okay. Yeah. And and for, well, because I that wasn't made aware at the beginning yeah, of the unless, show to, to know that viewers. I, I decided it ninety minutes ago. Yeah, unless unless Bo Nickel loses, that I'm just crashing the entire internet. I'm, I'm gonna I have a I'm prize. Gonna, I'm gonna throw I have a, little, a prize for the winner. I'm also gonna throw a little shade on the number one pick. Bo Nickel is a spectacular fighter. He's gonna win his next two or three fights. But you heard what he said. He's not yeah, going to fight. Time off. He's taking time off. He's, he's taking this year off. Know. He knows know. when he's coming back in 2024, he might fight once. All yeah, like a pay-per-view main card. I had, and, and I had to take him no matter what. I had to take him no matter oh, what. Oh, no, I respect you for doing he so. Took, he could have tore his ACL. I had to take him no matter what. <laughs> but then he's going to fight Gerald Mearshart, and you're going to go, okay, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> but mm. anyway, you can find me on Sherdog at everything. <laughs> That, that yeah. I, I have all of my fingers and all of the, the areas. And on Twitter, I am just my name, Jay Petri. Uh, uh, ben, tell the people where to follow you. Well, obviously, you can find me on the Shillin and Duffy show, previewing and recapping every UFC card. You can sometimes find my writings on the Sure Dog front page. I like to write whenever possible. Uh, I would say you can find me on Twitter, but it's not called that anymore. And you can only find me on X if you live in my neighborhood and you find me on Friday. <laughs> and obviously, I'm on. Uh, I'm Keith Chilling. I want you to, guys. We obviously, we, this was more for fun. I messaged you guys two days ago to do this, so we're, we're you know just having a little fun with this. Um, so, but the Chilling Duff show, I, I truly believe this is the most in depth preview show in the entire world. Uh, Jay has jumped on before. Dev is like a regular all the time. Uh, we do a live recap show after every UFC. It's usually me and uh, Ben, but sometimes Dev is on. Sometimes other people are on uh, when I'm too lazy to do it. Uh, so make sure you check all that out. Guys, if you want, I want to do more of these fun, silly stuff like this. So if you want us to do that, we need the likes, we need the subscribes, we need to hit, hit the notification, do all that stuff that all the other shows always ask you to do that we always forget to do. But uh, tweet this, comment it, tell us who you thought had the best draft, um, tell them who had the worst and all that stuff. Uh, last question before I go. Obviously, this is kind of football, fantasy football related. Uh, I'll start with Dev. Put you on the spot. Dev, who's going to win the Super Bowl as the NFL season starts tomorrow? Who's going to win the Super Bowl? Oh, God. (laughs) You know what? I'll do this for my dad. He's a Jets fan. Very unlikely. I'll give a shout-out to the New York Jets. 
J E T S. Dev, just Something. when I. Just when I thought you couldn't have a worse pick than Armin Sarukian, you go with the Super Bowl. Uh, uh, it looks like Ben is broken up. Jay, who's going to win the Super Bowl? The Buffalo. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just kidding. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs, I think, have what it takes to to run. Oh, he's run going it. with the easy. For the I'm repeat. going. Sometimes, sometimes the simple solution is is the one. All right. Uh, ben, you look like you're frozen. Can you hear us? Well, he's holding. Yes. The, holding the All hat. Right. Maybe it's. Oh, there you go. Oh, you're going with the. That's what you're going with. You're going with the Houston Texans. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, who who's your real pick to win the Super Bowl? Whew. Ow. <laughs> the Bills. The oh. Bills. All right, and um, I will make my pick as uh, I'm. I didn't ask permission to do this show, so this might get me canceled from Sure Dog. So to kiss off to the boss, I'm going to say the Dallas Cowboys win for Mike oh. Fridley. So there you guys have it. Uh, Guys, thank you so much for listening. Make sure you check out all this stuff. See you next time.